A couple days ago, I was making my favorite cocktail and I smacked down on the cocktail shaker for, to make it stop leaking and the cap got really, really, really stuck. I tried everything. I had a couple strong guys pull at it. I used a strap wrench, tried hitting it with a screwdriver. I tried hitting the back of it with a sword. I tried freezing it, heating it with a torch, freezing it, then heating it. It will absolutely not come off. For all intents and purposes, this thing is welded on. So, I decided to use science. I'm gonna blast this thing off. This is the basic setup. And of course, anyone who knows me understands that I have a variety of chemical means through which I could remove it, but blowing this off with high explosives is actually surprisingly difficult. And the reason is simple. I don't want to destroy the entire thing. I just wanna blow the cap off. If I were to use a high explosive, it would take a very, very minute amount, maybe a quarter to half of a gram. But most high explosives will not detonate at such small quantities. In fact, no commercial high explosive will. There are some specialty ones that can, some special acetylides and organic peroxides and so forth. But I have a much better idea. Let me tell you about it. This is called a slapper. A slapper is the system through which some types of high explosives are detonated, as well as the fastest man-made object ever. The way it works is extremely simple. There is a piece of metal, typically an aluminum foil, and the metal next down to a bridge in the middle we apply a very intense, very high current, high voltage pulse to this aluminum foil and right at the center on the bridge, it becomes a plasma. The currents are very high, so the plasma pressure is very high as well. This generates a shock wave. What I'm going to do is fill this with water, place a slapper on top, discharge it. This will create a shock wave through the water and the hydraulic pressure from the shock wave is going to push everything apart. Hopefully, the cap is the weakest point and it will come off. Let's see if it works. Alexa, arm the relay. Energy system is now ready. Let's charge her up. As you know, blowing stuff up is a fine art. And uh, I've never done this before, so I don't know exactly how much energy it's going to take. I decided I want to try about 1,000, 1,300 joules is right around what we've got here. Yep, right there. All right, 3,500 volts, about 1.5 kilojoules. Let's see if it works. Alexa, my cocktail shaker is stuck. Not again. This will take some work. Stand back while I smack this thing with my capacitor. I knew it was gonna work. <laughs>